on today's video, we're going to be discussing how to submit a deck list to the deck list database. The first step that you'll need to follow is actually navigating to the deck list database. If you don't already have a link, you can find one in the description of this video or the pinned comment. After navigating to the home page, the first thing you'll need to do is click Submit a Deck located at the top of the screen. The next page you'll be taken to is the actual form for submitting your deck. Be sure to check out the left side of your screen because it's going to have a lot of information that you'll need to know before submitting your deck, such as deck list requirements, deck list website requirements, description requirements, and a little bit of information on when you should expect your deck to be reviewed. Some of the more important points from the information on this screen deals with the deck list website requirements. Do not use tapped out. If you're not using one of the known approved websites, make sure that the deck website that you're using has an easy compare and or revision history function. After reviewing all necessary requirements, we're now ready to start filling out the deck submission form. The first option you're going to see is what kind of deck you're submitting. Currently, there are three options listed. Submitting a competitive deck, submitting an outdated deck, and submitting a meme deck. The meme deck section isn't really part of the DDB anymore, so I wouldn't pick that option when selecting your deck submission. Something to also keep in mind is that while you may be submitting a competitive deck, that does not necessarily mean it will be added to the main page if added to the deck database at all. It could be added to the brewer's corner rather than the main page itself. The first thing you'll need to fill in on the form is the actual title of your deck. People tend to get rather creative with this section, so don't be afraid to have some fun with how you title your deck. The next thing you'll need to do is tell the form what commander you're using. If your deck uses partner commanders, there is an option that you can select to enter the second commander's full name. Keep in mind that this isn't an autofill, so you'll need to free type your commander's name. The next section is going to be a description for the deck. Your description of the deck should in general follow the requirements listed on the left side of the screen. Keep in mind that there's a 600 character limit that you should try to stick to. Also keep in mind that a 600 character limit is not the same as a 600 word limit. I would recommend typing your description up in Word or Google Docs or some other equivalent program to make sure it's free of spelling errors and is within the 600 character limit. The next part of the form that you could fill out is including whether the deck has a Discord server. It's not necessary for a deck to have a Discord server, but if it does, feel free to include it on your submission. You'll need to include the name of the server and a permanent link to the server, one that won't expire. If you don't know how to do that, I can show you very quickly. To generate a Discord link for your server that won't expire, what you'll need to do is first identify the server icon within Discord. Then right click on the icon for the server and select invite people. At the bottom of the pop-up box, select the edit invite link option. From there, select the option under expire after and pick never. Under max number of users, also select no limit. And make sure grant temporary membership is not selected. Then click generate a new link. After you generate a new link, you're ready to copy it. Once you select copy, paste it into the form submission in the appropriate box. You can also select if your deck has a primer. After indicating if your deck does have a primer, go ahead and select the CAPTCHA for I am not a robot, and then you can submit your deck. Congratulations, you just submitted your deck to the Deckless database. Just remember, submitting your deck is not a guarantee that it will be added to the main page or the brewer's corner. If you have any questions, hop over to the Deckless database discord. The staff are very welcoming and would be more than happy to answer any questions you have regarding your submission, the submission process, or the deck list database in general. See you next time.